Good day everyone. In this short video, I'll be showing you how you can change the default port for Odoo ELP to any other port. Odoo installs your application um, using port 8069 and it is often a recommended approach to change that port from it's a security, it's a good security practice to change it to something more random because I mean, when um, an intruder, an attacker knows the port number that your application is running, it can be seen as um, aiding like um, a reconnaissance for the attacker. So without wasting much time, let me share my screen. So I have Odo running in this IP. So I hosted it on Microsoft Azure. Uh, so it's on port 8069. And we can see that Odo is active. So what we are going to do now is we are going to be changing this port to something like port um, 7059. You can change it to something like 7059. I'll stop sharing and I will share my... Um, I will share my terminal, my bashed window. Okay, so um, what I will do is, I'll first of all, let me share. Yeah, I believe you can see my terminal window now. So I would first of all, stop the Odoo server. So I've stopped it. Then what I will do now is I would need to modify the configuration file. And I think this is it. Okay, let me just enter it. Okay, this is it. Sudo nano etcodo15.config. So this is the file that I intend to modify. So I will just enter a command here. So let me just fish it out. So I'll just copy this. Yeah, so I'll just enter just a single line of code, smlrpc underscore ports, and I'll give you the port that the port number I need. You know, I said earlier on that Odo works with port eighty sixty nine. So now we are um we are overwriting that port to port seventy fifty nine. So I'll be saving this now. Okay, so I will be restarting the Odoo service. Yeah. So now I believe we are good to go. So. One thing I need to also do is, because I'm running it on Microsoft Azure on a virtual machine, I need to ensure that that port is opened in my VM. So when I go to my browser, I believe you can see my browser now. I will go to networking. I will add an inbound 
and I will open that port. I believe it was changed to 7059. Yeah, so with this, I will be saving. Now, let me just wait for a while for it to get synced. So now what we've essentially done is, I mean, this is not even specific to Odo. It's generally a good security practice to move things away from default ports, especially when it's an internal application like Odo. Odo is an ERP is for organizations to use internally. At least most, um, about 70% of the time, it's for internal use. It's not for outsiders, it's for people that have interests within your organization. So um, that is that about that. So it's good to always change the ports. Then now I would be going to um, my browser. This is the IP. So in, rather than enter 8069, I would now enter 7059. And now you can see that I still have my Odo installation active in 7059. So I believe in this video, we've seen how we can change the default ports for an Odo installation. Thank you. Our next video, I'll be showing you how you can ensure that you do not even need to specify any ports it will just be direct you don't need to use port number at all it will be um we are going to use nginx to um, allow it to run on port 80 the default http ports